To understand our annotative tools and how they're used, we're going to step through their application in a simple new drawing that uses annotative scales. Here on my home tab in my annotation uh, palette, you have your most commonly used annotation tools like dimension and multi-leader. And on the flyout, you have the styles. Styles for text, styles for dimensions and multi-leaders. And because annotation is style driven, it has to be turned on. Now it's not turned on by default in my styles when I start a new drawing from scratch. But you will notice that, for example, under dimensions, I have a standard style and in the flyout I have the option of an annotative style. My annotative style is basically my standard style in terms of all my dimension variables but with annotative turned on in the fit portion. So I'm going to turn on annotative and use that for my dimension style. Now I'm going to go ahead and create an object and dimension it and here I've created a rectangle and this has been dimensioned for its length and its width. When I place my cursor next to these dimensions you'll notice that above and to the right of my cursor I see the annotative icon that lets me know that these dimensions are annotative. Down here on the status bar I have my annotation scale for model space. And even though I change the scale, you notice that the size doesn't change. That's because unless the scale is added to my scale list, these objects are not going to change to that other scale. To find my scale list, I'll go to the Annotate tab, and on my Annotation Scaling, I can look at my Add and Delete Scales box. It wants me to choose annotations and I'm going to choose all and I can add from my scale list some other scales that I would like these to be scaled at. So I'm going to add uh, half size and holding down the shift button I'll add quarter size, say OK. And now I have full size, half size, and quarter size as part of my options for annotative scaling. I'll say OK. And now with that change made, if I go down to the status bar to my scale and I change from 1 to 1 to half size, you'll notice that my dimensions will double in size. If I go quarter size, that they get even larger. Now, you will notice that if I choose a scale that's not in my scale list, they bump back to their default scale size. So they're only going to change for the ones that I have in the list. The reason for that is that each time I add a scale list, it actually adds another dimension. Down here on the status bar, I have annotation visibility, show annotative objects at all for all scales. So if I turn that on, it's by default turned off. If I turn that on, all of my dimensions have disappeared. And that's because it's showing all of the dimensions at all the scales. Well, I don't have 1 to 5 is not on my scale list. I'm not going to see them unless I choose a scale that is actually on my list. And now when I click on that, I see a stack of dimensions there's actually one for each of those three scales. And each one of these actually acts as an independent dimension that can be manipulated when it's activated by choosing the scale. So I'm only going to see it when I click on the dimension and then I will see all of them. This button down here will turn on or off the visibility. There's no reason why you can't leave them stacked. Um, or I can use my synchronize and that essentially puts them all back together again. 